It was great to return to the village of Pinyam, which is located outside of Banjul, the capital city of the Gambia in West Africa. It's only been seven months since my last visit, but almost 20 years for John, so we reacquainted him with familiar sites and the old James Reservoir, which still supports a portion of the village with clean water. We met with the village chief, imam, and elders who expressed gratitude for the upgraded water system providing clean water for 95% of the village population of 3,600 people. We brought greetings from the Hartford Church co-pastors and family, then prayed together for the healing of Dwayne Eason and the success of our families. We did an inspection of the new water system, which began last December with a professionally drilled borehole almost 200 feet into the ground to connect with the clean water source. A strong pump was purchased and installed to pull up the water, which was powered by 22 solar panels to automatically fill the huge newly constructed water tank up to four times per day to provide clean water throughout the village. Volunteers from the village dug trenches to lay pipes to connect the water system closer to people's homes. The village organized a grand celebration in our honor to offer thanks to all the volunteers, contractors, government officials, and neighboring villages whose children will benefit from the new water system during the day while they attend school in Pinyam Village. This was not just an American Christian church helping an African Muslim village. This was an obligation and mutual exchange in God's eyes for the cultural connection and rites of passage training provided years ago for boys and girls from Hartford. With all that's going on in America right now, it was encouraging to be reminded of the great contribution Hartford is making in Africa thanks to the vision of Pastor Adams, the legacy of Dr. Manuel Pearson, and the generosity of the James family and Hartford's African Relief Fund. Thanks to the church voting Reverend Christian Adams as co-pastor will secure this relationship to continue for many years to come. Seeing the women and children dancing and enjoying life was such a reminder of the strong connection we have as Africans and African Americans. I told the village how happy we were to reduce the distance women have to walk, balancing water on their heads. John brought greetings from Pastor Adams and the Hartford Church family, then was honored with an annual soccer tournament named in his honor. The women of Pinyam thanked us for the water system before we walked over to participate in the ribbon cutting ceremony at the main water tap where John and the village chief cut the ribbon to begin using the tap for clean water, which worked as planned with great pressure to connect with the old system and sustain water throughout 95% of the village. Women began carrying water to their families, but with a far shorter distance many with the potential to eventually have taps right outside their homes. The celebration continued with a soccer match in the village where John kicked out the first ball in an annual tournament named after he and his wife Sharon, who helped the village with a garden years ago that is still being utilized. The next day, I walked through the village to test other taps closer to people's homes to ensure the new system was operating as designed. I also visited the family that 100-year-old Hartford Deacon Bernard Parker has been supporting over the years to deliver a personal letter from him and picture to stay in the home for generations to come. Overall, it was a very successful trip and even more rewarding experience. We should all be extremely proud of the great work that Hartford continues to do in Africa.